Hey, I'm Kyle. And I'm Dan, and we're real friends. We're very excited. We've never done a full-length album before. We've always released EPs, um, which I think worked to our advantage in the past, just because it was like constantly releasing music. And this is our first, not only full-length, but release on a record label with Fearless Records. So we're all really excited to kind of do it in a bigger light and, uh, and more songs as well, you know. Definitely a lot more dynamic in the album. I think we all kind of grew as songwriters. I feel like in the past, all, we had songs that were either up here in energy or like down here. And I feel like we found that middle ground. We wanted to make definitely more of a landscape with like all the highs and the lows and everything. Warp Tour so far has been like really good, really exceeding our expectations. I'm, I mean, compared to last year, we did uh, the first three weeks and we did all West Coast, so now we're getting back to where, where where we were last year. Like last year in Vegas, it was on asphalt. We played like 20 kids, and we had I'd say like 150 yesterday, and that was it was awesome. It was it like everything's been you know looking up so far for Warp Tour, and I, I I love Warp Tour personally. So to be able to do the whole tour this year is is really cool. Yeah, it's it's very cool on Warp Tour to be able to play such a tour that like a tour that has so many different kinds of bands. I think it's really cool for the kids, really more than anything, to be able to expand their minds and maybe watch a band that they wouldn't go to uh, like see at a club. I'm looking forward to most. Um, hopefully, I'm gonna start seeing Every Time I Die Every Day. So I'm looking forward to that. I got to see them twice so far. Um, other than that, just hanging out. I mean, we've, we've been going to Warp Tour for a pretty long time now. I've been going since 06, so like, you know, to be on both sides is really cool, so. Yeah, I like it. I'm looking forward most to just being in front of so many kids every day. Like even if they're not watching you, like passing by and things like that. Like you're always guaranteed to have at least like a decent amount of kids within the area, you know, which is really cool. The first Warped Tour I went to, I remember I saw Motion City soundtrack, and I just remember pretty much the right half of the crowd collapsing and falling on everyone, and like they almost had to stop the song and. Uh, like, I don't know, I've just seen so many bands, you know, I've seen like the starting line, I've seen the matches, I've seen Circus Survive, like all these different bands that I love on Warp Tour. So it's like, it's just every year there's there's someone worth seeing for the price. I think my first Warp Tour I was 14, I think, and it was, it was really cool. Um, I just remember, go I actually remember going and I walked in, it was like the first band that played on the stage, there was this band called Yesterday's Rising, and I never heard of them before or anything, and they were kind of like a screamo type band and I get, got like really into them um, and that's kind of a memory I kind of always have from Warp Tours just like actually um, discovering a band there you know but I think now it's a little different with the internet and stuff but you know uh, but yeah that, that's a really good memory for me is just kind of discovering those new bands and the smaller bands really like pushing their like CDs with the headphones and everything you know just being around that is really cool.